Hey, hey Floss, Floss tube. tube. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're going to keep going. Um, I'm Renee, and this is Gazelle's Needlework. And this is our first Floss Tube, if that's not apparent by now. But um, this is Jen, Jennifer, my sister. This is my niece, Emily. And this is... Dixie. Dixie. And uh, we've been wanting to get up the nerve to do a floss tube for some time. And Jennifer, um, well, if you can't tell by our accents, we are Southern. We're actually from Alabama. And Jen moved to California a couple of years ago. And she's my stitchy buddy. And so um, I'm living, I'm on the East Coast. She's on the West Coast. She's been here for, for oh my gosh, several weeks. And we wanted to, she actually leaves very early in the morning and we didn't want her to get out of town without making our first floss tube together. We don't know how we'll organize it in the future. If we'll have a, a video that's together, there's a two hour time difference. So that presents some, some issues for us. So for now, it's just going to be under my channel name, Gazelles Need to Work. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and forge ahead. Uh, we're, we're not going to do a lot of edits. If there are sound problems or video problems, lighting problems, please be patient and we'll work through that because we're just trying to figure out what to do. But you got to start somewhere and um, so that's what we're doing today. And we, the truth is we probably will not edit that much anyway because um, I appreciate watching people and just how they really are. And sometimes that's not so pretty. <laughs> um, anyway, let me see. Um, just a little uh, information. Uh, we are, we just had a hurricane. We're in the middle of one, not actually where we live. We're on the Alabama Gulf Coast but there is one uh, very near us, uh, a couple hours, maybe a couple hours away from us, but we still have some of the impacts. So it's overcast outside, lighting's not good, and it's kind of late in the day. But um, we do want to say that we, uh, the people who are impacted by Hurricane Barry, that we wish them the best and I uh, particularly want to say hello to Tammy from Homa, Louisiana, Homa, Louisiana, who probably got the full front of this. And I spoke with her just prior to the, to the landfall of the, of the uh, hurricane, or I talked to her last night. I met Tammy at StitchCon, and she was my Smalls Exchange partner. And um, I don't have what she stitched for me here, but whenever I heard of where the hurricane was gonna hit, I immediately thought of Tammy and just kind of reached out to her to check on her. And she said that she is stitching to stay calm. So I'll uh, definitely be checking back on her to see how, how she did. So we are gonna, I, I guess I'll say just a little bit about myself. Um, I am retired from my professional career. Uh, I worked 25 years in public relations for a, neighbor, a major university. And um, after I retired from that, uh, we have uh, several businesses that we run. Um, and so, Although I'm retired, I'm not. I've just retired from my professional career, but I'm actually very busy. And um, I'm, needlework is a way that uh, I unwind and always has been there for me to calm me down, especially during hurricanes, that comes in handy. Um, but I learned probably about 35 to 40 years ago when I was in my in my early teens someone um, a friend's mother showed me how 
and it has been with me since then and there's probably been periods where I didn't have a lot of time for stitching and so I've um, been in and out for those that number of years but uh, with that that's enough about me I don't want the video to run too long so I feel like we're kind of speeding through so forgive us and hopefully we'll have our own channels or figure this out and we can tell a little bit more about ourselves later but with that um, I'm gonna introduce Jen again so Jen uh, I'm Jennifer. <clears throat> I'm a nurse and um, I've been stitching for about 30 years. My sister Renee, she taught me and uh, Emily, my daughter, uh, Renee taught her too. Um, I've been stitching, you know, off and on um, with a little long, you know, dry spells here and there when the kids were small and all. And, when I was in nursing school, I probably slacked off some, but um, I've been out currently with, I had double carpal tunnel surgery, so I'm kind of like getting back into stitching, and uh, we got to go to StitchCon together, so that was exciting, and uh, uh, I didn't do a lot of stitching at StitchCon. I probably put in maybe 30 stitches or so. We did more talking. <laughs> yeah. Also, <laughs> talking and stalking. <laughs> Our favorite floss tubers. <laughs> While I've been out on medical leave with my hands, I've been doing a lot of watching the floss tube and um, making little notes of what I'd like to stitch. And yeah, I was basically just sitting at the table and, you know, saying, oh, that's so and so. And, you know, probably looked like a stalker or felt like a stalker when, you we know, were say, totally stalkers. Say, hello, <laughs> I like watching you, you know, and. They have no idea who we are, but we feel like we kind of know them because we watch all their floss tubes. But, um, yes, we had some really nice ladies at our table at StitchCon. Um, Christine and Terry from Illinois, and uh, Janice and Cheryl from Maine. And then, um, Let's see. <laughs> this is going to be real life. We're in the middle of filming Frost Tube, and um, my our brother and Jennifer's Rachel, your, six foot six foot four brother. thirteen year old just um, is lurking around the corner. Anyway, so go ahead. Oh. <laughs> uh, just Barbara from Keepsakes and their team, Pam and Steph. Um, just keep stitching. They did a you know fabulous job. Um, Bug Eye Stitcher Nicole. We talked to her for a little bit. Um, we had some floss tubers on the table next to us. Um, let's see, uh, Delisha Kentucky Sass um, stitching the dream. Crystal and Lisa, and um, we looked up and sat by a Cupcake Stitcher um, Melissa. And Very important person to be by <laughs> in, at a stitch con is someone who has a supply of cupcakes which yes. she made homemade. They were and delicious. Offered us. They were delicious. Thank you. <laughs> and let's see. Um, yeah, cupcake stitcher Melissa in in a table nearby. Uh, Jennifer Whistlestop Stitcher. She's really, really nice. Um, maybe one day we'll get to go to her little uh, retreat. Uh, quilting retreat slash stitching slash any any kind of hobby you have um, I think there's usually like a five person minimum so hopefully we'll get to have some friends get together and stay there in Tennessee one day mm -hmm. um, I, well some other people I want to mention that were some of my favorite floss tubers that, um, some of which were sitting uh, near us but uh, some of whom but Jerry, uh, Yankee Creek Stitcher, um, I, I saw her get on the elevator and accosted her <laughs> getting in the elevator. One of the very first people that Jen and Jennifer, or Jen, I call her Jen, Jen and I saw was, um, was Debbie from Snug Harbor Crafts. And we love you, Debbie. <laughs> We're sorry if we creeped you out. 422. Because we love you, 422. 
anyway, we love Debbie and actually, uh, we love Deb and Kev and we will be going to their retreat. The It's Stitch West. Mm-hmm. It'll be coming up. So Mid-October. We're, we're looking forward to that and uh, we love you ladies and sorry that we couldn't meet Kev. So um, that'll be that'll be something to look forward to. And next, uh, my brother, my brother's about to be in the video because he's trying to make the dog bark to interrupt us. Okay, all right. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. All right. Um, I don't know if I men- mentioned Brenda, handwork maniac. Handwork maniac, uh, Brenda, and uh, Kyle from Stitching and Sound. It was so nice to meet Kyle, and I know that he likes to um, kind of be edgy, but he's just really a big teddy bear and was handing out lots of hugs. And so we mentioned Lisa and Crystal mm-hmm. Stitching the Green Dream. And, you know, sorry to spend so much time on that, but um, I don't, I, I had a local needlework store about a, more than a decade ago, and um, it closed during the economic recession, depression, whatever you want to call it. Um, it did not survive that. Um, the good news, the upshot of that is the store's owner actually does her own designs now, and she had already started transitioning into that. And um, her name is, um, well, her, her, the name of her designs is, um, okay. The name of her designs is uh, Needlework Delights, and it's Kathy Reese. So, hi Kathy, and uh, we miss you. We miss your store, and we appreciate all that you did. But I wanted to mention, we wanted to mention the floss tubers because for those of us who do not have a local needlework store, you're the only um, connection we have. And now that my sister has moved away to the West Coast and my, bre- my best friend has um, um, can no longer stitch because she cannot see to. And, and, um, having uh, serious vision problems. She has double vision. And um, I love you, Diana. And um, she's always been the one who's gone to retreats with me whenever, and this this actually Stitch Con was Jen, Jen's first. Um, and in the past, um, I've always had uh, my friend Diana to go with me and I miss having her with me. Um, but wanted to mention the floss tubers because we know how much hard work this is and we appreciate you so much. So we decided to embarrass ourselves by starting this just because we want to connect and maybe not be so creepy at the next stitch con so you'll know who we are at least. And you'll at least know to turn and run away if you see us coming, so you'll have warning. But with that, Emily, you want to tell us a little bit about, Um, you said that you stitch for, I'm sorry, she's already said that. What would you like to say about yourself? Well, um, I've been... My name's Emily, and I've been stitching for a year, so... Who taught you? Um, <laughs> you know? So, I'm Aunt Nene, by the way, so if I'm called Nene, oh, that's my name. Should I nickname. start showing you some stitching? Well, um, next, I guess, um, we will... Yeah, we can talk about our... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I think we want to talk, just do we want to talk a little bit more about StitchCon, or can we move on from that? Mm. Well, we, I think we talked enough about StitchCon. We're kind of late to the game with that, but we had some other business to tend to as soon as we got home. Um, I will be f- uh, posting some photos on Instagram later, and on Instagram, I'm Gazelle's Needlework, 
if you're interested in taking a look right now. I don't have many pictures up there, but I will be posting um, pictures of um, the ladies at our table and some of our favorite floss tubers and just some of our pictures of our favorite people from that weekend. And I'll, I also wanted to um, say how much I appreciate Barbara and her staff at Keepsakes. Um, I used to work in PR and we did major events and I will tell you it was first class. Um, it was excellently executed and um, everyone was just fabulous. And I um, wanted to say a special thank you to Pam and Steph. And um, we had the privilege of meeting both of them and actually through some of the ladies at our table um, were able to go sit and have lunch with uh, Pam one day. And we felt honored to do that. So thank you ladies. And um, so I think now, well, I, I do want to mention that we will go through our stash. You know, a lot of people have been showing what they got at both the Annex and Keepsakes. And we'll save that for the end, uh, in the event that you don't want to hear that. But if you do, we'll give you, you know, we'll give you your cue and you can listen. And if not, you can switch the channel. But, um... So, Emily, do you want to talk about, the only person who has finishes right now at the table is Emily. Um, so, we'll let her talk about those. Okay, so my first one that I have is um, Sweet Cupcake by, um, by um, Just Another Budding Company. Where did you get that pattern? Um, I got it at Needle in a Haystack in California. So, so yeah. Jen, you want to talk about oh, yours? Um, <clears throat> Jen does have a couple of needlework stores. So. Um, where we are, we're in Northern California, and our LNS would be uh, Needle in a Haystack in Alameda, California. And uh, we recently, um, have a newer, a uh, newer cross stitch store, um, needlework store, is called um, Threads and Twined, and uh, that's in Windsor, California. And I want to say Trish is the owner, one of the owners. And um, I've been in there once. It was right before my surgery, and I plan to go back to get all my threads and all when I get home. Um, but she is super nice. Um, and anyway, I plan to go back there soon after I re recover from my return home. Okay. Okay. My second one is called Turtley Lovable by Lindy Stitches. And that's Stephanie at Lindy Stitches. Now, where did, where did you get that pattern? Um, well, you got it, both of you got it from um, StitchCon, which I didn't go. Okay, that was a freebie from Stephanie at Lindy Stitches. And Emily is like Jen, she's a fast stitcher and she um, had that stitched within a day. So, oh, and one more we thing still have to finish. I wanted to show from Stitch Con. Okay. Hold on. Here's this necklace that I have. It has a. Um, the shape of Ohio on it with a little heart where Cincinnati was. So, and that is from Nene. <laughs> that was a gift from me. So, um, what else? What else so, are you working on? Well, what I'm going to work on next is, I have a few, but is Love Summer by Lizzie Kate. And she also got that from StitchCon. And then this one is by 
Sue Hillis Designs. It says put your put on your wait hold on. Put on your big girl panties and deal with it. Which was also a freebie, right? Uh, a freebie from Stitch Con. Yeah. And then this one is and, and Sue Hillis is actually um, a, I guess an in-house designer for keepsakes. Um, she's, she's a local. local. She's a local one and and then also um, this one's called Pringles Cupcakes by Sugar Stitches Cross Stitch Designs. That's so cute. That's all for me. Okay, Jen. Okay. Um, let's see. Were you finished, Emily? Oh, oh I forgot. So we're talking about. Well. Hold on. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, we're doing stash last. Okay. We're doing. We're gonna do the. We're gonna hold the stash till last. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've got several whips going. Um, I know a lot of people are stitching this. Uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, uh, it's a fun stitch. I'm not real crazy about the white. Um, white's not my favorite to stitch. The bunting, and I, I ran out of white too, so have to go get some thread when I get back. And I was uh, using the um, Priscilla Blaine conversion of threads from the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, and then what I started on at StitchCon was uh, Plum Street Samplers, uh, Sampler House 4. And this is what I did at StitchCon. That's a lot for StitchCon. <laughs> besides that's stalk. Of, <laughs> that's, that's a lot of stitching because you can see that that makes sense. Okay. And okay. I guess that's all I have. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, well, Jen and I both had a finish. Well, why don't you show your finish from this? So let's we'll say from Stitch Con. Oh, okay. So, like I said, I'm, re I, I'm retired from my professional job, but I have a lot of things to keep me extraordinarily busy, so I'm making excuses why I was still working on my smalls exchange during Stitch Con. Well, Jen is such a fast stitcher. She got her smalls done, and then she also did one for herself. Yeah. And so we were um, the night before uh, doing our our finishes for the smalls exchange, and um, so this is what hers looked like. And I'll have to just put pictures of mine on Instagram because okay. I did not have time to stitch one for myself. This is what I call, it's so nice, I stitched it twice. <laughs> so I know everybody knows about these, uh, the Whirly Gigs, and I want to say it's hands-on design. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so. the whir Whirly Gigs, but it's summer, and we put it, I did one just like this for my Smalls Exchange, a um, little pin cushion pedestal. And it was my first finish ever, besides this one back to back. <laughs> this is my second. But um, we kind of watched the tutorial um, with Priscilla about the the doll needle, and the lacing in the back with a quilt thread, and um, used a little hot glue. So traveled with our glue gun. <laughs> hot glue gun. Okay. Anyway, that was fun. That was a fun finish and very easy to do. So I had a similar one to that. Um, I guess that with that, um, I'll show you then what I stitched. I don't have it with me, but it was this Blackbird Designs, and it's a little bit on the prim side, but who doesn't love Blackbird Designs? And it was... Uh, just leading up to the 4th of July. So this is the hats off to Uncle Sam. And um, I used, I did the same finish. It was like this. Um, I did not put the chenille on it. And it was the fabric. I used the called for uh, fabric and, um, and threads. 
and pretty much did the same and we were very happy with that these pin cushions are they're very a very quick and economical way to finish something and it came from a site called sassy to stitch Dot com or it's on Etsy. It's also on eBay. We got a lot of questions. A lot of people love the pin cushions and so if you're looking for a relatively simple economical finish, that's a, a good route to go and now I want to stitch one for myself. I did want to show my bag. This came from um, Pretty Southern and um, I think you all know her. Uh, this is Linda Jo pretty southern and um, that's what I took and this is a little Kelly a little Kelly uh, it's a it's a bitsy bob but it's a smaller version of that so um, aside from that I've been working on Jen's birthday present which was June 13th <laughs> and I'm still working on it but I said I'm gonna stay up and I'm gonna finish this tonight before she gets on the plane <laughs> Um, and it is Morning Walk, um, and is that Scarlet House? Yes, Scarlet House Morning Walk. That reminds me of Jen and Dixie, and I'm going to modify the pattern. I'm going to modify the pattern uh, to put just one dog on there, and then that's going to free up a little space, and I'm going to put Jen's initials down at the bottom, and this is my progress. I just have, and no, we do not have things ironed. This is an impromptu, now or never kind of video. So um, I do have the sunflowers to go, and it really is quite a bit of stitching. I was surprised, but the house and then all the grass at the bottom. Um, but, you know, then again, it's, it's a lot of kind of mindless fill-in. So if you like that sort of thing, I think you'll enjoy it, but it is for a pin, and it will be finished as a, a pin cushion. And then to go with it, I have the Erica Michaels, Erica Michaels Strawberry that says, You Are My Sunshine, which is one of our favorite songs from our childhood because my mother used to always sing that to us. And whenever I took these kids to school every day, I would um, play that to them, and um, when they got rowdy in the back seat, it would kind of soothe the, calm the natives. <laughs> and so um, that song is special to us. And then the other thing I want to show, I have a ton of whips, um, but this is what I just happened to have with me that I brought to stitch with Jen. None of this was planned before this afternoon so and it shows I know I've got it upside down um, this is from heartstring samplery it is his eye his eye is on the sparrow and it's um, Beth twist and I'm a huge Beth twist fan um, I had the pleasure of meeting her in Maryland in October of last year. She was at Salty Yarns for their for their uh, retreat and my friend Diana went with me and it was um, such an honor to meet Beth. She's so talented and I think we may be able to see her in Acorns and Threads. I'm hoping coming up in the fall but let's see. Make sure I'm showing the, the right side. Yes. All right, so um, this was like my first start of the year. This, um, I don't know if you can see the enormous border on this thing. And this is actually, this is 40 count doubloon, which is a call for fabric. And um, also the call for threads. The pattern is in it's 12 pages so my initial idea was to stitch a page a month which I was making good progress and then my, my friend Diana got sick and so I um, had to rethink all that stuff so anyway that's what I have so far it's really fun 
what I do so that I don't get trapped into trying to do just a, a, a border at the end was what I'll do is I'll stitch a flower and then I'll stitch a bone teeth and then I'll alternate and go back and do another flower. Then I get to do another, another, um, another motif. But uh, if you would, if you don't know about Emily C, um, she just finished this in like two months time. And this is like a, a year's project. So she's phenomenal and love her but you should go check out her finish on it. And I think she just changed the fabric. And um, I wanna show my bag. This was um, something that I got after I uh, used the discount from Pam and Steph, Diddly Daddle Designs. And look how nice and big this bag is, which it takes a really big bag for that project. And she sweetly the um, Etsy, it's on Etsy. And she also made me a little notions bag to go with it um, for very, very economically. So, um, also want to show I love Kelly from um, from that's so Kelly. That's so Kelly. <laughs> from that so Kelly. Look at all my little threads there. That's actually for the project that I'm working on for Jen, the little pen key. But I have a ton of these. And I love them. And if you have an animal, and I have a 25-year-old cat. Yes, I do. I did not make that up, Jennifer. <laughs> She's ancient. But if you have a pet and you have this on the, the arm of your chair or wherever your stitchy spot is, you get ready to leave or you have small kids or kids, you can just, you're tired, you stitch the very end and then just slap it shut and take it out so they don't get hurt on the, the needles. So even though she's 25 years old, she still likes to play with my threads. So I have to be mindful of that. And uh, let's see, with that, that's it. That's all that I wanna show right now. I do have a ton of whips and um, I'll talk about those in some of the other videos. But now I think we're gonna talk about Stash from StitchCon. Um, I first. Okay. Emily's going to go first this time. Oh, oh one thing what? I forgot to mention. Um, during the Smalls Exchange, this is what I got. And uh, Melissa W. And she didn't put where she's from. But I really like it. Uh, Shakespeare's Peddler. We figured that's the... <laughs> That's the pattern, or yeah, one of her I, patterns. Yes, that's Teresa Bennett, Shakespeare's, Shakespeare's Peddler. That's the pattern. Uh, do you have your smalls? What you got? No, I don't because I didn't know we were going to do a video, oh. so I did not bring that with me. I'll have to show what I got in my smalls at, um, in my next video because we didn't plan on this, and I'm not at my house. I'm at Jen's. So. Okay, so this, these are... From my mom from StitchCon. Two little magnets. The magnet board's not from StitchCon, but the magnets are. And then. Yes, you can read the tags to say where the bag came. Who, who designed the bag? Um, so there's this bag with. She also got me a bag with all these. I think you need to come back, baby. <laughs> okay. With a bunch of dogs on it. And oh, oops. it is from Gay Ron to to Bags. Right? Gay Ron Toten Bags. So it's Gary and Ron, uh, Sunshine Stitchers. And we met the Sunshine Stitchers. And, and we're huge fans of theirs. Yes, what sorry. the inside looks like. Sorry I didn't shout you out, Gary. <laughs> Sunshine <laughs> Stitchers. Stitchers, excuse me. And then she got me this pattern that says, I kissed my dog on the lips um, by Amy Wolf Wolfen Design. Brecken, I think it's Brecken. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> I got that from Keepsakes. Oh, the one with glare on it. Yeah, here we go. Say 
and then that's all. Okay, Jen, you want to show your stash? Okay. Um, let's see. The and I think I believe all these came from the annex. Um, I've kind of probably got them mixed up with some of the stuff I got from Keepsakes, but I know this came from the annex. Um, Jeanette Douglas. Acorn Halloween House. Uh, Fart and Hands. Uh, I like a lot of smalls sometimes. <laughs> it's real easy to do. and um, I like stitching Halloween. Hocus Pocus from uh, Heart and Hand. Uh, this little kit from Heart and Hands. Uh, Gratitude Makes Everything Grow. Uh, needle bling designs home um, heart and hands it's got these cute little buttons inside another oh <laughs> lost a poodle <laughs> uh, let's see another little Halloween a uh, little <laughs> I guess I got all heart and hand little pillow hands-on design so they uh, uh, hands-on design was one of the designers in the annex they're from the one of the trunk shows so I think okay. there were they said there were about seven yeah seven trunk shows uh, Sue Hillis she was there I forgot to get her to sign this but um, wine a bit you'll feel better and I live in wine country so <laughs> drink a lot of wine let's see uh, Sue Hillis um, hello Halloween and she autographed it. And she autographed this one. Oh, another little heart and hand. And a gay Ron bag, watermelons. And some ground guards from Gay Ron. And then I just got a, I need to build my fabric stash. So I've got some uh, color and cotton, was one of the vendors. And, um, under the sea fabric, so I have no idea what I'm gonna stitch on these, but one day I'll find something. <laughs> okay, and then I think I got all these from um, Keepsakes. Some Prairie Schoolers, Santas, La Di Da. Um, I'm a fan of Wonder Woman, so this was. I really oh, liked an, yeah. another one better, but they're sold out. It looked more like the Wonder Woman, you know, emblem and stuff inside. But I guess I could probably look this up and order it, order the other one. They're all little bikinis. Uh, little House Needlework Freedom. Uh, just a little cute Merry Christmas. Uh, little House Needlework's all dolled up. Uh, Teresa Kogut, um, Witchy Poo. I just, I used to be called Jenny Poo because I didn't like to brush my hair when I was little. And now that's carried over to my daughter, Emily. <laughs> witchy Poo. Yeah, I was Witchy Poo. Or Jenny Poo, Witchy Poo. That was actually a show from the late 70s. Um, I don't know if you remember Witchy Poo. There was a Mad Hatter. Anyway. Uh, Blackbird designs. HR pup and stuff. And then I, I got the 2018 Christmas ornaments catalog. Um, maybe I'll do some Jolly July, some Christmas ornaments. I try to, I'm scared of really big projects, so I haven't tackled anything like that. And I'm the opposite. I get these enormous projects that I probably will never live long enough to finish but I'm gonna try I'm gonna die trying so that's all of mine okay um well I wanted to point out I'm I'm probably late to the game on these things but this these are lights that you can get off Amazon uh, one of the ladies at our table 
Chris, um, she let me borrow hers because my light ran out of battery, uh, the batteries died. So she let me borrow hers, but this is phenomenal. It's, you can charge it on your cell phone charger and um, you, it's got several settings of brightness and it's flexible. So um, that was very comfortable and I liked it. I liked that the light was behind me and shining on my needlework and not in my eyes. So um, I did order that immediately when I got home. Oh, I forgot we got one of these too. Yes, we both got one of those. Stitch more, worry less. That's right. Words to live by. And then um, we love the Stitchy Bus. So, um, and funny story, fun now because it all worked out well, but Jen and I were kind of late to getting to keepsakes because we we spent most of our time walking around trying to meet people and um, trying to, I was trying to get my smalls exchange um, finished. So we went to keepsakes on the last day and took probably one of the last buses before the small, last smalls exchange. We we're in the last group of ladies for that. Mm -hmm. So um, we almost missed the last bus, but made it. Love the Stitchy Bus. Thank you to uh, the guys who drove all of us ladies there. You deserve a, a part for sure. And um, uh, of course, fabric in the annex was one of the most desired things and the ladies lit on it like, like flies. So, um, what all that was left, and I just, I'm not that kind of person that's going to elbow people to get up to the table. And so I just took what was left, and they just had some small pieces. This is an eighth of a yard, which I'm a big, big project person, but um, did not want to miss out on adding to my stash because I, I do have a lot of smalls as well. So I got several of these. I mean, most of the colors, I just, whatever was left, and I tend to stitch on more neutrals. And so um, that's a, an example of the kind of fabric I got. And another thing that I was nuts about that um, these, these are the light protectors, excuse me, the magnifier protectors. And this one was really cute. I went to Canada recently and look at all the moose. They're so cute. So I got oh, probably about three of those because I've got several lights. And let's see, this was a, a Shakespeare's Peddler, Teresa the Net. I'm gonna use that on one of the pin cushions like we showed you and stitch that. And Teresa was in, she used to have, when she had her shop, um, I was able to go see her right before she closed her shop there in Hattiesburg. Now she has her online store, and if you don't know Teresa Bennett, um, Kitten Stitcher, then that's cute. Um, you should check her out. Another one of my favorites is Jeanette Douglas, and she had a trunk show in the annex. And uh, like most stitchers, I love patriotic, and you can't frame everything, so another is these are little needle books and pen cushions. And they have all the specialty stitches, which I love, kind of branching out. And I did not know how to do that before I had a local needlework store. And um, so grateful that I was, did have a, a needlework store that I could go to um, to teach me some, some new things. And um, anyway, this is another one. And I've already gotten the threads for it, except for the silk. And this is called Acorn Shaker Box. And I thought that would make a cute pen cushion. Of course, I love the shaker box. And here is another kind of fall, uh, looks like it's fall inspired, but it's needles and pins, stars, needles and pins, pen cushion from Jeanette Douglas. 
And if this is backwards, if everything looks backwards, I apologize. We don't know how to fix that yet, but we'll work on it. Um, also, Sue Hillis had her autograph this for me. Um, so cute, home for the holidays. Then um, we learned about 310, who is the cat at Keepsakes, and so could not leave there without 310. This is a little Oort jar. So cute. Love it. And then two little, oh wait, two little, um, Needle minders. Then here's one with a picture of 310. Did not get to meet 310. He was downstairs and sometimes I think that they were afraid all the people would upset him. What, you wanna see? Yeah, he can see it. And then of course a stitch con. I'm sure you've all seen some of these, but a stitch con needle minder. And a 310 ruler. So cute. Love rulers, <laughs> love measuring tapes. And we even got a freebie to stitch. That will make a cute little pin cushion. Okay, and another neat person we met at, um, oh, wanted to say, also say hello to the doodah ladies. Um, enjoyed meeting you at StitchCon. Love your videos. But we also met Ryan, who is a designer of Wild Violet's Cross Stitch. And um, she gave everyone a freebie, which is Floss Tube and Chill. Well, here. Oh, wait. That's the, that's the pattern, and it's actually a download you can do at bit.ly slash floss tube. I'll try to put that in notes if I can figure out how. <laughs> and she also gave us a free needle minder. She asked us if we were a hearts or skull person, so actually I like both, but I said skull. And I have already downloaded or paid and downloaded a couple of patterns from Ryan Wild Violet. And this is All Seen Birds. Ryan was wearing one of these birds stitched, I believe it was over one, and she made a pendant. And she had, does have an Etsy shop. She does have an Etsy shop as well, but if you... That's under Wild Violet. Right. If you Google Wild Violet Cross Stitch, I'm certain it'll come up. And I think, uh, I don't know about the Etsy. I didn't see it that way. It was through another avenue. And it's one of those things where the pattern is free or you can pay however much you think. You know, you can either download it for free or you can kind of make a donation. Um, that's kind of new to me, but that's what I did. I made a donation, and I liked this one. It's uh, Death Before D-Stash. Yes, love it. I love um, Weeping Willows. So mm -hmm. cute. Tell her about the pendant that she was wearing. Yeah, yeah. That's, she, she had the pendant. Another neat thing she did, kind of an old school thing, is the... What is it called? Is it floss floss away? No, not floss away. Those are the bags. It's the it's the um, the mesh that you would put on like in the eighties, the late set. Well, I guess that would be the eighties. In the eighties, that you put on to to stitch, do cross stitch on fabric, and people did it on sweatshirts or or sweaters and so forth. And uh, Ryan did it on the back of her jean jacket, one of her own designs, and that was really cute. And that's kind of a, a new twist on an old, old school method of teaching. So that was, or, or not method of teaching, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, so I decided to go through my keepsake stuff. 
put in my bag? Oh, it was on the floor. Sorry. Um, keepsakes. Really quickly. Okay. Keepsakes is. Two bags and one of these. All right, be quiet. All right. Oh, no, don't get on me. You're hot. Okay. So I got a couple of Stacy Nash. It's Tombstone Angel, pin kick and keep and draw, and I thought I'd be cute with this too. It's a little headstone, and this is a, uh, two crows scalloped pin keep, and also love crows, and this is Rovaris. I'm not familiar with this designer but um okay that was cute and then um i have never done what i um i got some of the little wool kits and this is primitive gatherings that's so cute these were cute Needle roll and two of a kind pin cushion. Just wanted to try something different. And when I do get the opportunity to go to a real needlework store, then a real brick and mortar one, I look for things that I don't have access to online. Um, Sometimes patterns are easier to come by, but not. These are some wools. I've just picked up probably about seven or eight wools just to have some stash on hand to do my own finishing, which I'm going to have to do. And this is, um, I love Kathy Barrett. This is Carriage House Sampling. And then this is Adam and Eve. They had that stitched at Keepsakes on the wall. It was fantastic. And this is, I love uh, to stitch um, samplers. And so this is one by the Scarlet Letter. And it is Sally Hunt 1795. It's a rare Warren, Rhode Island sampler. And so it, it was kitted with the silks. Looks like it's Overa Swa. Let's see if I can get close enough. Yeah. So anyway, I thought that was pretty. Look forward to stitching that. And could not leave since we were left by the stitchy bus and I had a little extra time. <laughs> I went back and got this. So cute. I hope that's not backwards. It says, judge not that ye, ah, judge not that ye be not judged. Amen to that. All right. And I think that's it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, like I said, I like to order things that I don't have access to um, when I go to a real store. And they have, uh, Keepsakes had these little shaker boxes. And also, that would be a cute little quick finish. This is, I'll open it up. Let's see, there's something inside. This is Orleans Shaker Oval Boxes. It says Orleans Carpenters, shape, shakerboxes.com, and it's uh, from Orleans, Maine. Very cute. There it is with a lid on it. I'll get a little close up. I will not lie. This is expensive. They only had two, but, you know, so is framing or most finishing, um, which is why I'm going to learn to use a sewing machine. I bought, I went on Vana's blog and I got all of her recommendations, including her sewing machine recommendation. And she did not list the one that's the most expensive. I mean, they are expensive, but I'm scared of it. It's still in the box. I've had it for close to a year, but I'd be doggone if I can't stitch a square. If I can't sew a square, 
I'm in trouble. I mean, to, to sew a pillow, to do some pillows. So I'm gonna give that a try. Cause Jen and I have lots of Christmas ornaments to do. All right, so this is just the pin cushion. It's the shaker pin cushion. And that is, that's it. That's all of that. So um, we want to say, anything else y'all want to say? Uh, I got this cute little needle minder from Cupcake Stitcher too. Oh yeah, we love you Cupcake cute. Stitcher. <laughs> it's a joke. Um, anyway, um, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Again, we're nervous, and um, we are very Southern, have very thick accent. Please bear with hard, us. Hard. Okay. I'm going to correct you. Very, very, very nervous. Okay, we're very, very, very nervous. But um, anyway... Um, we appreciate you for joining us. We hope you will give us another chance and watch us again. And so I will be getting Jen on an airplane. We'll leave about three o'clock in the morning. So I don't know if we're going to bed, if we're just gonna stitch till then. And then, cause you know, that's not hard for us to do. And then um, I'm going to have my niece Emily and her brother for the summer mm -hmm. so expect that the next broadcast that Jen and I do together will be in California at her house so whenever I take the kids back in August but um, don't know if Emily and I will get to get get a, a video up in that time don't want to make any promises but we may may not but next time we see you for certain, it will be with Jen. And you'll get to see a little bit of California. Sorry that we usually have very nice weather um, because of the storm. It's very gloomy outside. We apologize that there's no pretty stitching behind our heads. I know I always love to look at that, but again, this was impromptu and this was the brightest spot in the house on this gloomy day. And I'll point this out. You see, yeah. Bubby, this is something that um, Nate, mm -hmm. Jen's son, who again is 13 mm -hmm. and 6'4". He probably did that when he was in third grade. He's uh, quite the artist, and um, that was one of, yeah, he did that when he was really young. And he's done a, a number of things that we really love and that hang around Jennifer's house. But... Oh. Um, they would always oh, have somebody okay. come out to it's their okay. school before like Christmas and you would give like ten dollars and somebody would assist them and like painting on um, what's that whatever that's called a canvas um, for like a Christmas present and so he made that at school so I uh, hope this wasn't painfully long and we will turn around and say goodbye bye 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 <laughs>